It's that special time of the year. There's something in the air. It's magic. The season is changing, the two plankers are hibernating, and the bikes are coming out to play. On our first chair up, we met Nelson and Dylan. What did you guys do today? Set my alarm for 4.30 this morning and rode my bike here and got here at 5. I got fifth chair. Man, it's good to be back. First things first, A-line. It was a really long winter, and it's so nice to see everybody having fun in the sun again. It's almost like Christmas. No, it's better than Christmas. Am I right? Yeah! yeah. Way better than Christmas. I'd say it's more exciting than Christmas. I think it's better than Christmas. Way better. Better than Christmas. It's the best. Oh my god, totally. Go right on. Yeah. Yeah. Because you don't get to ride your bike all winter and then first day back. Fresh dirt, like sweet trails. 30 degrees, sunny, I'm wearing shorts. It's unbelievable. Can't put it into words. Christmas, you just like hang out on the couch and like loaf around. The weeks leading up to it, just count down the days. Last night, I went to bed late and I still couldn't sleep. I actually hate the bike park. I don't even like coming here. <laughs> It's official. It's better than Christmas. Sorry, Santa. There's gotta be a mistake. We got to test out some fresh bikes. Yeah, yeah. Rentals. In fact, there's a whole new fleet of rental bikes. Mmm, shiny. We wanted to learn a little bit more, so we met Mike from GT. We want people to be exposed to the GT brand. But we want it to be subtle. We, we don't want to bombard the market with branding, product placement, and being the official bike park sponsor. We've got a bunch of work that we have to do. In fact, I conceived my first child somewhere down that way about eight years ago. In fact. One of the best parts about opening weekend are the smooth trails. So smooth your gimbal will fall asleep. But it's also the vibe. Everybody's just in a good mood and having fun. It's pretty simple, really. She got it hard. <laughs> It was a magical day, but something felt different. It felt like something was missing. When I heard the rumors that the GLC drop but no longer existed, it made me sad. I kind of do, I do miss the GLC drop. It looks sad. Good sir. Yeah, mixed feelings on that one, eh? Like it's kind of it's always been there. It was like my whole life I did it, I like worked up to it and it was really big, I made it smaller and smaller and smaller. At least it's a little bit bigger, but it's not a drop. It's a jump. That's uh, that's definitely sad. It was kind of like a, uh, when you were already tired. For non-mountain biker, like tourists that would come here and they would sit on the GLC patio looking at everybody hucking that, that drop. There's been years of entertainment with people uh, maybe overcooking it a little bit. I did break my leg on the DLC drop. That was my first broken bone. It was kind of like saying bye to an old friend. Change is always scary. <sighs> we'll miss you, GLC drop. Rest in peace. But wait, change can be good, right? We will find out. It could be like a little surprise behind the trees. I like the new job more. If they can add something bigger and better, I think it'll be worth it. Now. Better now. now! It's definitely an iconic feature. 
but I was pretty happy to see it go, to be honest. The amount of kind of injuries and stuff that are on it, we had to tone it down a little bit. Have to ride A-Line to be able to ride this. I think this will become an iconic feature now. Yeah, dude, pretty sick, dude. Yep, pretty sick, dude. I have a hunch that it'll become an iconic feature as well. Reese is a madman. <laughs> what can I say? Front flipping the new jump on the first weekend? Pretty iconic if you ask me. We had a little bit more time to rip some corners with our friend Dylan. <laughs> an incredible summer and this is only the beginning we'll see you out there we got some fun stuff going on subscribe to our youtube channel for more